Today I, I will come here, uh, I came here to promote the Japanese situation and uh, just have uh, some introduction of Japanese natural ventilation system. So maybe you, you don't know the Japanese situation. Japan is now the tropical island, not, uh, not the tropical, but a uh, little bit hotter than European country. But uh, actually in the history, Japanese, uh, Japanese research uh, has a lot of history of natural ventilation research. The natural ventilation and cross ventilation have been noticed, noticed as an important issue in Japan for a long time because of its hot and humid climate, as you know, in summertime. And research on natural ventilation and cross ventilation has been conducted in the early days. Maybe 100 years ago in Japan, Architectural Institute of Japan was founded in 1886, and also the first volume of transaction is 1936, uh, 18 years ago. Two papers for ventilation and cross ventilation are there, and one for acoustic, four for, for, for daylight. And uh, volume five of transaction in the next year, three papers for ventilation and cross ventilation. So the, maybe the main issue is ventilation or some uh, something, not the thermal comfort. Ventilation is very important things in the early days. And the, especially ventilation path and uh, cross ventilation were titled in the paper. Yes, this is a very old one. The, uh, written in Japanese, sorry. AIG pamphlet. Pamphlet means uh, small books. Volume 3, 1930, ventilation and named ventilation and cooling. Maybe the Chinese can understand. Uh, exactly the same concept with the ventilative cooling. And main discussion and standard of ventilation rate and calculation theory. And the next pamphlet, 1957, after World War II, indoor climate design, cost ventilation design were discussed. And uh, this is a very old one. The, in the early days, maybe the important things and the researcher is very, very interested in the uh, climate in the school buildings, uh, school for the children. So this is the typical Japanese uh, elementary school or uh, junior, high, junior or high school. Uh, there is a room and the corridors. And this is called the uh, uh, one side corridor type buildings or rooms in the Japanese school buildings. So the opening area discussed in this pamphlet. Yes. But actually some results by Japanese research in the early days are useful even at the present days. But almost all paper are written in Japanese, unfortunately. I'm very sorry. So actually now, 20 13th, published by Natural Ventilation Design Work Group. I am a chairman of this working group of AIJ. Published this books, Natural Ventilation Design Handbook, focused on non, the non-residential buildings, company, company offices, public office, school building, and now preparing to translate to English. And in these books, the context Contents uh, case studies, 28 cases for 10 years, for these 10 years. What is the, the first chapter and the second chapter, third chapter? And important and uh, interesting things is uh, to uh, write down the design procedure and checklist for the designers. And also the design method has, uh, we gathered a lot of uh, window type or products or something. So this is written by the real engineer or real architect, architecture, not the researcher. And the five and six, this, this is the uh, main field of the university researcher, calculation method or measurement methods. So uh, uh, interesting things, interesting things of this book is uh, this area. Well, I think it's very new. So this is introduction of the case study sheets, uh, sorry, in Japanese. We have uh, these types of the 
seats for 28 buildings, building outline, service outline, natural ventilation design. Uh, here maybe you can understand by the figure, we, uh, where is the ventilation route and the component and the system and the uh, written the control system or the control strategy. And that this is a result, example of the result. And that this is one of the result of, uh, example of the buildings. It's maybe 30 or 40 story building with natural ventilation or hybrid ventilation. Yes, this is from here, naturally ventilation, natural ventilation from here to the three boys. And uh, this is, uh, yes, I know this building has a double skin, grazing and uh, some walls using double skin. Yes, so I'll go to go in detail for two cases. Uh, concerning me. Now, I, I am a universal, university researcher, so not a designer, but uh, these 10 or 15 years, uh, I, I collaborate with the uh, architecture firm or engineers uh, to promote the natural ventilation. So designers design, making a design of their buildings, and uh, uh, I, I made a consultant consulting and uh, also after built the building, uh, we called it commissioning. Right. Commissioning is a performance evaluation of the building. So I do a lot of research. So I will introduce two cases for highlights of this building using natural or hybrid ventilation system. The first one is uh, I came from Osaka, so location is Osaka, 40, 41 story building. And uh, this is a very large building. Uh, 10 years ago, uh, this is very interesting buildings. The core is uh, faces to the south, not to, uh, uh, not to the north or something, uh, to prevent the uh, cooling load. No. To prevent uh, yes, solar radiation, so uh, this office area is faced to the north, so it's very comfortable and uh, uh, very interesting buildings. Oh. Uh, system outline we called it a task and ambient air conditioning mode, uh, not a natural ventilation. Uh, we use the underfloor and also the ceiling outlet. The uh, task zone is controlled to 26 degrees and the uh, ambient zone is 28 in summertime and uh, summertime task and the ambient zone is achieved by underfloor and air supply. And uh, yes, right. And natural ventilation mode. Uh, actually, natural ventilation is uh, changed to the ambient air conditioning system using the natural ventilation intake from outside and uh, this device is uh, controlled by automatically. And uh, uh, outdoor air come from here and go into the room and uh, uh, go through the, go around the ceiling by quantum effect, uh, go to the another uh, uh, natural ventilation device. Uh, spring and fall, the moderate season, ambient zone is natural ventilation if possible. The, also the air conditioning system. Uh, occupant can select directional or diffusive air flow and flow rate of task outlet. Task outlet is under floor here. And uh, if you want to cool directly from the, uh, these devices, you can put the switch and uh, uh, air come to the come to you. And the diffusion mode means uh, uh, just uh, just a diffuse air. The natural ventilation system here we have the 
uh, devices. And uh, you can see the outlet of the natural ventilation system here. Not a, this is not an air conditioning outlet. This is interesting, uh, interesting, but uh, not correct figure written by designers. No separation or something. Designers figure is like this. But uh, actually, 10 years ago, the, this building is called the challenge to use the wind induced natural ventilation in high rise building. Uh, not the buoyancy induced. Control system, I, I will not uh, go in detail, but uh, control by pressure difference and also out, uh, outside temperature and uh, outside temperature and room temperature. Yes. So nine years ago, the first step, the, this is the example of the results. Yes, this is the October using natural ventilation period. Uh, yes, this is outside condition and uh, this is the opening ratio. Opening, uh, uh, this is almost 100% openings are opening, open. But uh, in this 25, around 50%. Depends on the temperature difference or uh, some pressure difference. The uh, inside temperature is almost uh, 23 degrees. But uh, of course, the fluctuation in the nighttime. But uh, in daytime, 23, 24 in the October is not so bad. One to four. One to four means the position position of the room. So natural ventilation device is located around the buildings. So if the uh, east west wind comes uh, comes through here and uh, to go north and uh, east, so maybe one, four, five, and uh, three points, the temperature is almost the same. <clears throat> yes, right. So this is annual, yes, annual opening time was uh, about 1,000 hours. Uh, September, uh, no, 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 April, May, June, July, and uh, White one is a, uh, uh, ah, I'm very sorry. Uh, this blue one is the opening times. This one. Uh, in the summer time, uh, open, this, is, uh, this device is closed, but uh, moderate season, uh, about 200, 200 or 300 hours. Uh, the opening uh, opened, but uh, <coughs> in the winter time it's closed. And this is an interesting uh, graph. This is a cooling load. The green one is a cooling load. No, I'm very sorry. Uh, green one is a cooling load by air conditioning system, and white one is a cooling cooling heat reduction by natural ventilation. So. In this uh, spring, 50% is uh, cooling load. 50% of cooling load is reduced by the natural ventilation. Yes, calculation of natural ventilation rate for yes, calculation are conducted and measurement are conducted. Shift analysis and also conducted in the design stage or planning stage. Uh, I will skip here. Uh, some calculation result in the north uh, in the north wind cases uh, from north we have a lot of ventilation late and the west east is uh, exhaust and uh, also the CFD uh, we have a lot of lot of devices uh, of the natural ventilation and also the air, uh, air conditioning outlet here and a lot of 
deskies and uh, people the, in the west wind, the quanta effect uh, clarified or uh, no. We can see the clear quanta effect to the uh, from west, west wall to the north wall and in the north wind, uh, not so bad. Maybe it doesn't work. Sorry, doesn't work. So next one is uh, uh, after uh, build, uh, we check the performance of the ventilation devices uh, for visualization and uh, also the CFD. Maybe also the same, same, uh, how can I say that? Distance of the natural ventilation air current. So in this building, uh, we measure the interesting things. Uh, two things, pollen. Uh, pollen is a very big problem in Japan for allergy. Uh, in spring, uh, pollen is uh, yes, the red one. Yes, and uh, actually the we compare the. Uh, measurement of roof and uh, inside the room, uh, natural ventilation time, uh, inside pollen is bigger than the roof, roof means the outside, but actually no natural ventilation time, air conditioning time, it's the same, tendency is the same. We estimate uh, this is because of the, this is not because of the natural ventilation. Uh, pollen it's, uh, 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 how can I say, we, uh, pollen puts our, macro, our clothes and uh, shoes. So we estimate uh, this is not the, the, the big, not the because of, because of the, I'm very sorry, not, not from the natural ventilation devices, from the person or occupants. And the next one, it's, oh. next interesting thing is, is noise level measurement. Of course, uh, natural ventilation devices has a uh, uh, grass wool or some uh, absorbing uh, devices. But uh, natural ventilation opening can reduce noise level by 20 decibel. decibel when open and uh, when closing, the uh, 25 de decibel, uh, almost the same. So noise level is not so uh, problem, not so big problem in this building. Remarks from this building, wind, 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 wind induced natural ventilation in higher of the building uh, achieved and the characteristics of surprise of fresh air from natural ventilation opening depends on the wind direction and shear of the analysis and uh, some measurements are conducted concerning the estimating problem. Two problem, pollen and uh, noise when used natural ventilation system, but it has no problem. And uh, actually in the uh, research paper, uh, more interesting measurements and analysis has already conducted. Long term measurement and mean energy of air for indoor quality and uh, Domination or contribution ratio, ratio of each outlet, task outlet, ambient outlet, or natural ventilation outlet, and uh, modern outlet in CFD to improve the accuracy. And now, nine years after, almost the same uh, situation, but these three years, controlling trouble has occurred and changing and uh, uh, repaired. So, Last year, we have no problem. Uh, this is the opening time of the opening devices. Uh, actually, this building is the main office of our electricity company. So, the, as you know, the social demand for saving electricity is very 
important and strong things after earthquake. So this building has to uh, use the natural ventilation widely. So this is good result. And also the uh, annual opening times and uh, room temperature, no, not so bad. And also the cooling load in the uh, uh, October. Uh, air conditioning cooling load is here and the natural ventilation is here. Yes, uh, just five minutes or something. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just five minutes or? Uh, two, yeah. minutes. Two, two minutes. Two minutes, okay. <laughs> Two minutes, I will skip. Case two building outlines and uh, brand new buildings. We have two, we have four buildings in the very downtown in Osaka last year. Uh, it's important, uh, interesting things is uh, many sustainable technology, not, not, an, not only the natural ventilation, the PV panel or greenness or uh, everything. So different type of natural ventilation is very important and interesting. Uh, original naming. The designers uh, make named the uh, original name for each building. This is, uh, uh, of course, these four buildings use the natural ventilation. This building is an uh, apartment called the Sky Street. And uh, this is a uh, hotel, center void, central void, and uh, this is corner void, and uh, this is air intake. The, this is a kind of promotion to the people or society. So it's very important things. So this is named air intake uh, like a pin. And the wind induced ventilation for each floor. And the, the second one is corner void, is uh, the, the, the corner of the buildings. Uh, we have a void only for the ventilation, uh, not, for the, not uh, for the other purpose just a design and uh, yes because uh, in the night time this is right up and uh, this is a sky street uh, no air intake so this is right up and the promote the natural ventilation system to outside and control system is uh, interesting hybrid mode directory con uh, directory con cooling by outdoor air, through air conditioning mode. Of course, through natural ventilation mode. But interesting things is occupant can select, the, select to use the natural ventilation or not. Uh, one more important interesting thing is the device is uh, improved. In the through air conditioning system, the return air from room to air hundred units, supply air, but uh, outdoor air mode, outdoor air, outdoor air from outside to air hundred unit, but natural ventilation mode, open, uh, outdoor air from outside to the room. So this is automatically automatically controlled and moving. It's very interesting. Doesn't work well. And also, uh, I measured the uh, Annex 62 pilot building in Tokyo. Uh, college building using staircases. Uh, designers call, call this one is wind chimney. And also, college building shapes of the chimney are uh, checked by the wind on the test in the design stages. Okay, I will conclude. We have many interesting buildings in Japan, so welcome to Japan. And the natural ventilation and heavy ventilation technologies are developed in these 10 years, I think, in Japan. Calculation in the design stage is enough, uh, important, but enough. Simple, I think my, my uh, impression is uh, simple long-term performance evaluation commissioning is needed. The measurement of ventilation rate, long term, simple toughness, devices, measurement instruments is still the problem. Thank you very much. <laughs>